Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous sessions, we learned about Agile methodology and Agile frameworks. Though Scrum and Kanban look very similar, they are very different in their approaches with respect to software development and as to how the change is perceived. In this video, we will see the similarities and differences between Scrum and Kanban and which framework best suits for your project. In software development, the product owner defines the requirements and the development team builds the product as per the requirements and delivers to the customer. When we consider agile software development, the value is delivered to the customer in the form of increments. Feedback is then gathered from the customer as part of the process and goes to the product owner. It is the responsibility of the product owner to consolidate the feedback, user stories, new requirements into the product backlog. He then reprioritizes the list of features to be considered for the next iteration. The Scrum Master forms the link between the product owner and the development team and ensures good practices are followed. This person is referred to as Agile Coach in Kanban. So what are the similarities between Scrum and Kanban? How are Scrum and Kanban different? Let us now start with the similarities. Both Scrum and Kanban are pull systems which implies that the work from the product backlog gets delivered to the customer in the shortest period of time. Though Scrum and Kanban are pull systems, the implementation methods are completely different as we will see later in this video. Work is done in an incremental way to deliver value and to reduce waste. There is focus on continual improvements and optimization of work in both Scrum and in Kanban. The teams are kept in loop on the work in progress and what is to be expected next. Let us now look at the differences between Scrum and Kanban. First, the roles. Roles are clearly defined in Scrum, product owner, Scrum master and development teams. However, in Kanban, the roles are not defined. Kanban teams are flexible and the teams are expected to work collaboratively. Now let us consider the delivery timelines. In Scrum, sprints are defined. Sprint is typically a two-week period by which a set of features will be delivered incrementally to the customer. There is no defined delivery date in Kanban and it is decided based on the process needs. Let us now see how work assignment is done. We saw earlier that both Scrum and Kanban use the pull technique, but the implementations in both these frameworks is completely different. Work is executed in Scrum in the form of sprints. A sprint is a two-week period by which an identified set of features will be incrementally developed and delivered to the customer. The Scrum Master runs a sprint planning meeting which is attended by the product owner and the development team. All the user requirements, features, user stories are captured in the product backlog. The product owner then prioritizes the list of items from the product backlog that needs to be executed in the sprint. Only the prioritized items will be executed in that particular sprint and any additional requirements or changes have to wait for the next sprint. The Scrum Master runs meetings where the team discusses on what is the work that has been completed, what is the work to be taken up next and discuss if there are any bottlenecks. The work completed at the end of the sprint is delivered as an increment. Any work that is pending is taken up for the next sprint and it is returned to the product backlog. This is followed by the sprint review and sprint retrospective. In Kanban, there are no sprints and the work is managed differently. It is a continuous process and the work is pulled based on the team's capacity. Once the testing is completed, there is a pull trigger to the previous column to send additional work. Similar to the scrum meeting, sprint review and sprint retrospective, Kanban also has similar ceremonies like daily stand-up, demo and retrospective. Scrum does not permit any changes to the requirements during the sprint and seem to be less flexible. On the other hand, Kanban permits changes in requirements at any point of time and seem to be more flexible. Sprint velocity is used for productivity measurement in Scrum. It is the Number of features that was committed against the number of features that was delivered at the end of the sprint. The time taken to complete a full piece of product is the cycle time and this is used as the productivity measure in Kanban. This table shows a quick summary of the differences between
Scrum and Kanban. So which framework is suitable for your project? If the project has stable requirements and does not change much over time, Scrum is recommended. If the project has widely varying priorities, then we go for Kanban. Hope this session was useful. Thank you.